We're going to take a look at the Buffalo Air Station access control settings today. This is going to be for the WZR1750 DHP and the WZR1166. So what we want to do first is log in using admin and password is password by default. We're immediately going to go to the advanced settings which you can do down here at this button and then we'll go to the security area and select access control. You'll notice here that it's going to be disabled by default. We're going to enable this and apply down here. Now what this does is it allows you to take a MAC address from one of your devices and then limit the control to various times that you want to be able to allow them to have internet access. So some people may want to use this for parental controls for uh, maybe their kids. It's school season and you want to make sure that between the hours of 10 p.m. all the way till maybe the, the next afternoon when they get home they there's no internet access but there is going to be internet access for their device uh, times when they might be doing some studying or research or something like that so we could uh, after you enable the access control we're just going to select add and then we can add the target computer. So we need to know the MAC address of the target computer. I have a couple preloaded in here. Uh, you can always find this in your device area and I'll show you that now. So we'll click on home. You can go to device settings and you can take a look at a device. So right here maybe I want to not allow a phone or an iPad. I'll limit this iPad. I can just copy this MAC address and we'll hop right back to the advanced settings security access control and we'll add this MAC address this is going to be allowing internet access all the way and you can go down here and then we're going to allow no internet access for specific times so we're going to remove internet access from all times on Monday from 00 to let's say this will be 5 o'clock. Let's maybe do it till 16. So 0, 0 to 16 on Monday. We'll do that for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And we're going to edit that time. So you'll see here, I now have no internet access. Uh, and that's going to be from midnight until 4 p.m. And I may want to remove that same, remove internet access as well from let's say 20 to 23 on these days and we'll select edit on there. After you're done editing this MAC address, after you're done selecting edit permit access time you have this looking the exact way you want then you just select add. It's going to configure, it's going to add that in and now that network card which is a unique identifier, the MAC address uniquely identifies a single network card on a device. So any laptops will generally have two network cards. You'll have a, a wireless internet access card and you'll have a, uh, a physical RJ45 network card. So you would need to uh, edit both MAC addresses otherwise if they were if you only edited the wireless one and they plugged in then it would still have an internet access on that card. So I'm going to go ahead and you can delete that policy, you can edit that policy, like okay maybe maybe I should let them do a little more on the weekends or, or let's turn that off. So you can always go back in here and re-give internet access or if you want to just delete the whole policy and start over, select delete and then that network card will have full access to the internet again. Just let us know if there's anything else in the comments.